Item number SCP-7000 Containment Class Safe Special Containment Procedures If SCP-7000 is removed from its storage locker, it must not come in contact with damp surfaces prior to testing. Permission to use SCP-7000 must be sought from the Ethics Committee. Description SCP-7000 is a thin film of red plastic in the shape of a fish, coated in sodium polyacrylate crystals. The object is an anomalous instance of a miracle fish, a novelty item typically marketed as a fortune teller. Physically, SCP-7000 behaves like its mundane counterpart, curling when placed on a moist surface such as one's palm. The note accompanying SCP-7000 resembles those packaged with most mundane miracle fish products. This note states that the deformation observed predicts one's fortune or emotional state. However, extensive testing has identified no correlation between the two. Unlike typical miracle fish products, SCP-7000 displays sapience to a high degree. It is aware of itself and its surroundings, and is capable of experiencing analogs to the chief aspects of human perception. This is considered the primary anomalous feature of SCP-7000. The object makes this sapience known through its secondary anomalous feature, the projection of human-like speech. The combination of these features makes it possible to ask SCP-7000 questions, which it attempts to answer during the curling process described above. Testing of the object suggests that it produces its most cogent answers when the provided questions pertains at least somewhat to one's personal future. It should be noted that SCP-7000 expresses some degree of discomfort during this process. Addendum 7001 Exemplar Test The log below provides an example of the typical behavior of SCP-7000 when it is asked to make a simple prediction. This log was taken during the initial batch of testing on SCP-7000. Researcher Waller interacted directly with SCP-7000, while researchers later recorded the transcript. Okay, trying this again. Take it slowly. Take your time. I'm going to ask the next question. <gasps> Are you ready? Just tell me if you aren't ready. If you'll rather take a break. <sighs> Fine. Begin test four. Wara picks SCP-7000 up with tweezers, placing it on her right palm. She reads from a list of prepared questions. Shall I bring an umbrella to work tomorrow? The tail of SCP-7000 begins to crawl towards its dorsal fin. Oh, sweet Jesus, not again! Just answer the question, yes or no. The object's tail makes contact with the dorsal fin. Ugh, stop it! Drop me! I swear I don't know! The faster you tell me, the faster I can put you down. Waller shakes her hand slightly now making contact with Waller's palm. The object's head slowly twists towards its pectoral fin. High-gain microphones in the chamber detect the faint sound of plastic deforming. Back! Okay, I'll tell you, it's going to... The object's head curls in on itself, while the remainder of the plastic in contact with Waller's palm begins to lightly pucker Along the lateral line of SCP-7000, the object releases a guttural cry. It's going to rain bucket! Storm! Ugh! Storm of the decade! Take the damn umbrella and wear a rain coat too! Please! My spine! Or places SCP-7000 on a bed of desiccants. Twelve minutes of the object's vocalizations are redacted for brevity. During this time, researchers later expresses their desire for noise reduction earplugs to be provided during further testing. When SCP-7000's cries subside, 
the object has returned to its black shape. All right, mark down the prediction for heavy storms on the 8th of January. We might want to inform the rest of the site, too, just in case. Well, it turns to SCP-7000, picking up the tweezers. She sighs. Well, Ada rubs his eyes. Prepare for test five. It is of note that during research of Wallace's commute to work on the 8th of January, the sky was mildly overcast. After three batches of testing, sufficient evidence have been collected to suggest that SCP-7000's capacity for prediction does not surpass that of random chance. While current testing holds no predictive value, it continues to be of use in investigating the efficacy of advanced interrogation methods on sapient beings.